Wow, incredible. Now, some breakthroughs take longer and reach further than others. Our next laureates are two scientists whose decades of hard work have revolutionized vaccines and helped allow all of us to gather in person once again tonight. I begin the show tonight with a warning. warning. Experts warning. are reporting COVID-19 has mutated. 13th week of lockdown, the health department has raised. Death toll now has risen, 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 risen. Three years ago, the world stopped. More than three billion people have been asked to stay at home. But two scientists had never stopped. For 20 years, working day and night. When their idea was mocked, when their funding was slashed, they didn't stop till they had built the tech that revolutionized vaccines. We succeeded. That's now considered the game changer. And restarted our lives. And now from The Walking Dead and Marvel's Eternals, please welcome Lauren Ridloff. And from so many films, you just love him and adore him, the one, the only, Chris Pine. To make a breakthrough, it takes brilliance, it takes work, and it also takes guts. For decades, Kotlin Karako chased her dream of mRNA treatments a way to hack the cell and instruct it to attack diseases. It was a big idea, but it faced big problems. Above all, the immune system rejected the treatment. Hardly anyone believed it could work. In 1995, Karko was given an ultimatum, either give up on mRNA or lose her faculty position and take a pay cut. She chose to keep chasing her dream and telling it to anyone she met just in case they'd listen. And then? Somebody did. Drew Weissman, an immunologist experienced in designing vaccinations for HIV and other diseases. And while he was waiting to use a photocopier, the two of them struck up a conversation. And they knew that immune rejection and knew how big and how challenging it truly was, but saw the potential and the path forward Eight years later, when they cracked the immune problem, still few in the field took an interest, but two companies did. And when the world stopped in 2020, they were ready to move fast. Days after the COVID genome was sequenced, using the sequencing machines invented by our earlier laureates, both companies had designed effective mRNA vaccines that helped uh, tame the pandemic and saved millions of lives. And it's that, in large part, that we are here and able to gather today. Exactly. And protecting us from COVID is just the beginning because the mRNA revolution truly is for treatments promising for other viruses but also for cancer treatments and many different other diseases. For engineering modified RNA technology, which enabled rapid development of effective COVID-19 vaccines. The Breakthrough Award in Life Sciences goes to Catlin Krokel and Drew Weissman. I arrived in the United States from Hungary in 1985 together with my husband 
and our two-year-old daughter, Susan. Through the years and through the decades, we worked very hard. Susan, who is here with me today, excelled in school and excelled in rowing. She became two times Olympic champion. <laughs> She got the gold medal while rowing in the U.S. women aid boat. I spent most of my time in the laboratory to make mRNA therapeutically useful. While receiving this breakthrough award, I reflect on this humble beginning. And, uh, and I am very thankful, and my family is very thankful, for the opportunity we received in America and that we could live the American dream. Thank you. This award allows me to pursue programs helping low-income countries build facilities for the local development and production of treatments that affect their populations. We have already done this in Thailand, South Africa, and India, are in discussions with Uruguay. I believe this work can help address the unequal access to new medicines in the world today and allow the development of treatments that large pharma is not interested in, seeking the ultimate goal of a worldwide vaccine and therapeutic equity. Thank you. Yeah.